Hey yo guys, it's Red. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to play as the Enchantress again, and we are against Wu Chang. I promise you guys that in the future videos, I'm going to try to play other survivors so that you guys won't get bored looking at me playing Enchantress all the time. Okay, so back to the gameplay. Wu Chang has a hard time finding for us, and I'm playing with one of my friends here. We are on voice call and we have communication. Okay, so Wu Chang thinks that he's wasting his time, so he's going to throw his umbrella up to my cipher. Okay, so this is kind of funny. Wait for it. <laughs> there. I didn't know he was like behind that wall. I just got a heartbeat and I didn't know he was back there. Okay, so I pilot stunned him and I'm going to transition into the shack. I'm going to check if basement is here and basement is here. So I have to be careful not to die here. I don't immediately vault to the pallet. I will wait Wu Chang to go in first and go out. I got stuck there a little bit. And Doctor is there to help me pallet stun him. Actually, this match is a bit of clowning around. My friend doesn't know that Wu Chang brings broken window. <laughs> We were actually, uh, we didn't do any cypher rush here. It is a rank match, but somehow we were clowning around. Okay, so Wu Chang doesn't want to get pallet stunned again. He puts peepers to avoid getting pallet stunned by Doctor. Doctor ends up putting the pallet down and Doctor is going to go back to the shack, but I will assist her by cursing him so Doctor can transition to the window. Okay, so Doctor is hurt and I want to make sure that Wu Chang doesn't take Doctor down because she's like, she can heal herself, which is, which means that she's very important in this game. She has a very important role in this match. So before he hits, I'm going to stun Wu Chang. I think Wu Chang is a bit pissed off at me. He ends up chasing after me again. Uh, in this match, Wu Chang keeps on changing his target again and again. So he's going to go for Doctor again. Okay, so I don't know why he's quiet. <laughs> Alright, so he's coming back to me. He's going to soul siphon me and his soul siphon work. I think this Wu Chang brings insolence with him. I'm just going to go to a safe place where a doctor can put down the pallets for me. Because I am currently being soul siphoned by him and the effect is still working on me. Okay, I love this place. This place in Lakeside Village is really good for kiting. These pallets, if you use them well, you can kite long enough here. Doctor healed herself already, and I don't know why Wu Chang kept on targeting Doctor. But he gave up and he chased after me again. See, this Wu Chang keeps on changing targets again and again. I don't know why. There's no Cypher Rush in this match uh, because we were both kiting and the only decoders are Seer and Perfumer. And now three of us is not decoding. <laughs> okay, so he's going to catch me again. He's going to leave Seer again. I don't know why, he kept on changing his target. Alright, so I'm going to transition back to this place because the pallets are still available. Okay, Doctor wanted to stun him, but I cursed him before she could stun him. He changed to the white guard. Which is not so good in this place, actually. Remember that white Wu Chang is slow in hitting. His reflex are slow, see? He probably clicked that button before, but uh, the hit animation comes out one second after. Which means white guard isn't good in uh, places like this with many pallets and many windows because you could get easily looped if you are the white Wu Chang. Okay, so Wu Chang is going to change to this black form. That means you have to transition. So this is a tip: um, if you're facing Wu Chang, if you're facing a white Wu Chang. Uh, make sure to loop him because he'll have a hard time catching you. But if he is a black Wu Chang, transition. Okay, so now um, Cypher is already primed and Wu Chang hasn't put any of us on the chair yet. Okay, 
Okay, so he hits Doctor and then Cypher is primed. And we are all heading towards the exit gate. Seer is heading towards the other exit gate while I head to the other exit gate. So we are both in different exit gates. Just in case one of us is being chased by Wu Chang, any of us can go to either exit gates. Okay, so he is coming to my exit gate and I have the heartbeat. Which means I have to quickly go because my exit gate is not fully opened yet. I think it's still around 50-ish. Okay, so I am trying to kite him while detention is going on. I thought I would die here. Okay, so I immediately take down the pallet before, um, before he unleash his skill. I'm just going to loop him around here. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> I didn't know that he would go that way. But thank goodness I have my curse. This is why I like Enchantress. He can stop Wu Chang. Okay, I vote over the pallet before he used his spell skill. And now I'm trying to run to the exit gate. I'm trying to survive. And this is where uh, things change. Seer gave me his owl so I can quickly make a run to the exit gate. Thank you, Seer, for giving me your owl. So we got a four-man win. This is like an epic match because Wu Chang cannot put us on the chair at all. This is like the best match I've ever had. And I just had to post this. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.